weapons. Let's take a look at our special NPC over here, as well as thank you for joining me on our next Dark Souls Remastered Let's Play here in the DLC of Artorias of the Abyss. Let's go ahead and talk to this NPC. You, is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? Uh, no. Yes, of course. I must not be presumptuous. Artorius would not have approved. So this is actually Kieran. One of the Knights of Gwyn. Her ring, like each of the different knights had a specific ring that almost like exemplified or, you know, further reinforced what they were known for. So for Kieran, uh, she's known for like being essentially an assassin, uh, like doing critical, high critical damage. So she was granted the Hornet ring, which is increases critical or backstab, well, critical and backstab damage. So we actually found her ring when we fought Sif, the Great Grey Wolf, we found her ring uh, immediately behind Artorius's grave. Uh, there it is. Hornet ring. Boost critical attacks. But up here, that's actually where we will go eventually. Uh, we're going to encounter one of the last Knights of Gwyn. Um, but we don't have the key to get in there just yet into that watchtower, so we will come back this way, I promise. Now, it's time, though, for us to go into the belly of the beast. Um, Ulaseel Township is... Oh, crap, my phone, sorry. <laughs> um, texting my wife. Um... Wills Hill Township really got taken over by um, the Abyss, which mutated the humans that were down here, or the citizens down here, which we saw Artorius essentially kill one. They've got like a bloated head, and um, they're kind of, not kind of, they're, they're deformed and, you know, demonic in a sense, which is what I guess humanity, the abyss, dark magic, dark stuff can do to you. Uh, but these guys can hit pretty hard. As well as, like, they, uh, they have a sorcerer. <laughs> these guys suck. A sorcerer can, like, one-shot you with a special type of, like, dark magic. So... Despite it being like a magic or like a sorcery, uh, it does not inflict magic damage. It actually inflicts very high physical damage. A lot of the dark sorceries. So don't be uh, don't mm, don't be surprised if you get too close and you get one shot <laughs> by by one of these things. It's happened plenty of times to me. Right. I think the first sorcerer is actually coming up. Yep, there it is. Oh shit! For some reason I tapped A. <laughs> also, if you are human, you should get invaded around here by a particular NPC. Yeah, the piece of crap that was like... We understand being dragged off by a hand or something like that shit. Dick. Get out of here. Really stinks you don't get anything from him. But we'll definitely go back and talk to him. Be like, yo, what's up? Why'd you invade me? Followed by us probably killing him. <laughs> Just being honest. Maybe I should. 
should have. Oh shit. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hang on. You're going to need a specific item. I forgot about this. Uh, you're going to need a specific item in order to, well, in order to make the the final boss and some of those sorcerers that the, that we just encountered that use dark magic. The item you'll get here, the silver pendant, actually will deflect dark magic. So I'll show you. But you need a light source to get in here. So you can either use cast light. Um, I'm not sure if you can use the skull lantern, but you can put on the sunlight maggot, and that'll actually open up the illusory wall here. And then this is just a developer clue, like let there be light. So, uh, there we go. Let's get the silver pendant. Oh shit, Taki! All right. There you go. As you see, it just completely deflects and bounces away. Um, one of the final bosses, he has a couple attacks like that. Uh, where they'll all just, like, he'll shoot out a bunch of dark beads, and then they'll just kind of converge on your position. So it's just better to use the pendant. He'll also keep yourself safe. Show of a brave warrior. Though I think you can. I guess I will use that shortcut. Now you can roll across like a rooftop to land on, or like an edge to a rooftop. Uh, so let's go down and immediately use it. Use it. Uh, there we go. Dark orb. So it's essentially like a, a magic arrow or great heavy soul, something like that. Just imagine like a, a, a regular sorcery. Alright, and that's it from down here. A regular sorcery, but it just does dark damage or like physical damage. Oh shit! I'm sorry, Carving. God, I forgot he was there. I think there was a crystal lizard actually on that, on that uh, that rooftop, but I scared it away. And I think this is a mimic. Sure is. <laughs> I'm not getting you today. Very good. <laughs> oh. The reason why I keep laughing, there's a video that um, one of my buddies, Peen, <laughs> showed me. He sent it to me like years ago when it came out called Happy Souls. And it's like a parody of Dark Souls 2. There's a scene in there where the main characters get invaded. And <laughs> they get killed by characters with really stupid names. And uh, they use the wood carvings after they get killed, <laughs> like the, uh, the enemies use them after killing the hosts. Long-winded, and I'm sure it was funnier way in the moment, but... Hey, your fault for watching. Um... Oh, Alright, this, this isn't that bad. It's going a lot easier than I expected, just I guess because I haven't really used the claymore that much before. And you really, I don't know, I prefer, I guess, after playing so much, so much Sekiro, and then going back and playing Bloodborne, uh, I really, I guess, don't care for a shield. Oh, thank god I, I made it. Like I said, I don't care for a shield too much. 
which, who I got the bloated sorcerer, here, which obviously can play or can be a really reckless play style, but which what you gotta do? Uh, does this even do anything? No, it does not. Stay. Oh shit! But I can actually wear it and still fast roll. That is a disgusting face. It almost reminds me of the flood from Halo, like the mouth area. Uh... Oh, of course. Can't wear that freaking thing. <laughs> How much is the bloated head? 2.2, .2, so I gotta keep it somewhere in that area. And it looks like majority of my stuff, without looking like a complete buffoon, do not fit that criteria. <laughs> so let's, uh... Let's buff up. <laughs> fucking swing this <laughs> freaking blue sword. Come on! Mmm, that's right. You like that, miss? Ooh, wait. Soul of a hero, not bad. There you go. I was just gonna say, there should be is actually uh, it's like an area of effect poison cloud I think that one could be really cheap uh... <laughs> jeez get myself sick from spinning the camera so fast Also be a mimic. Can he three shot it? He can. The crest key. So we're gonna need that to get up to that watchtower. So we can I don't want to say save, but we can find Hawkeye Goff. Go Goff. Don't know how to pronounce it. I've heard so many pronunciations. Shit. You. I think I just got a humanity out of that. I'll take that. Okay. Oh. Now I think there was just that ledge. Yep. Falling out here. Don't remember, but there should be an item. Twin humanities. All right. I'll take that. Not never a bad gift. Now let's fall down again. Hot dog, we took no damage while falling. <laughs> Cue bad luck. Alright. Uh going forward will actually take us into the abyss. Let's not do that just yet. 
that doesn't sound like the best idea to me. Instead, we're going to go this way. And then this should unlock for us another shortcut. There we go. So this shortcut actually, if we'll run up here, it'll lead us back to this original bonfire into the sanctuary, which is what we're just going to go back to and rest at. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that, just because there's a lot of souls that I want to consume right now. And uh, I want to level up more. Let's just quick do this, just because I also want to see if I can equip um, Crystal Magic Weapon. I don't think I'm going to have enough to level up at least twice. Ah, crud. If I don't have it, yeah, I don't have enough. Because I think I need 40-something. Like, I, I last time I needed 46,000, so that's not enough. I would still need, like, another 13,000 just to be safe. Okay. And screw it, we're not resting. <laughs> we're going back down, baby. But this way should lead us into the abyss, which... Uh, it's not difficult. Again, it's more so just a maze, if you want to think of it like that. And, of course, keeping this black pendant... Or black pendant, Jesus. The silver pendant to defend ourselves against dark magic. Oh, mother! <laughs> oh, man. Alright, what, are they just gonna keep shooting? That one is. Ooh, the tracking on that was nonsense. When you saw the sorcerer or sorceress throw its uh, staff up in the air, you can see that fog. There you go. That was dark fog. That poisoning area of effect. Dark magic really is. Mm. <laughs> it just sucks. I hate it so much. Especially like in Dark Souls 2. I thought it was kind of cool at first, like using some like dark orb or like dark bead. I think that was the other one uh, that I would use sometimes, but I don't know. It, in theory, it was cool as hell, but I just never really got into a dark build. Uh, no carrying white branches. Use a white branch to conceal yourself. This prisoner here, though, let's see if I can get him to break some of these. Uh, to be honest, I don't think it does anything. Wow, I do a fuck ton of damage. Alright, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. You'll, I think you only got four more. Oh shit, alright, two more! <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh shit, I missed one over there. smack me with your hand try to hit me with that damn ball on the chain or that post you're still stuck to all right you did not drop anything for me <laughs> and nothing happened oh shit how are you not dead this up, 
there should be a bloat, not not a bloated guy, but there should be uh, an enemy on it. Yep. Oh shit. There you go. Get off my lift. Okay, and that should be the final lift upon here getting into the abyss. We're definitely gonna wear that. I'm gonna wear this hat and see if it'll give me any kind of light down there. But uh, friends, this is where we're gonna end it. Okay, so this is the second part of our uh, Torius of the Abyss DLC. Just because there's a decent amount left down in the abyss, and there is also uh, technically two bosses that I want to take out. So I'll just see you all in the next episode, friends. All right, take care.